This year, the original Mini will be celebrating its 60th anniversary. As much an icon of the swinging 60s as Carnaby Street, mini skirts and mods, back then £500 bought you a perfect classless design, loved by everyone from accountants to rock stars. And the good news is there are companies out there preserving these original pint-sized runabouts. From the outside, they look like classic minis, rare to see these days, but both have a few modern secrets under the skin. Two companies have brought the Mini back to life and totally reinvented them for the 21st century. And starting from around £80,000, they have a pretty modern price tag too. This is the Swind E Classic. Swind hunt down battered and broken original minis and painstakingly restore them. But that restoration comes with a very modern twist, because instead of the 1.3-litre old petrol engine under the bonnet, in this car, there's an electric motor. An electric Mini! Who'd have thunk it? The original Mini was pretty nippy for its day, but its day is a while ago now. This electrified version has got 108 horsepower and it'll hit 62 miles an hour in 9.2 seconds. So this has got more than enough about it to duck and dive through today's traffic whilst doing its bit to save the planet. This E-Classic tops 80 miles an hour, which you would have struggled to reach in an original, and has a range of 125 miles on full charge. It also has regenerative brakes, which means the car uses the kinetic energy from braking and converts it into electricity to recharge the batteries. Other improvements are to the interior. A lot of heating has been added. I have heated front seats, a heated front and rear screen, and underfloor heating, as well as a USB port. And if you want to dive into the options list, you can have power steering, central locking, electric windows, an electric sliding sunroof, air conditioning and an infotainment system. Oh yes, all that in a tiny mini. It handles just like the original, with the classic cart-like feel, even though it's a touch heavier than the 60s version because of the weight of the battery pack. This car is pretty idiot-proof to drive. I should know, because I'm driving it. You have got a gear lever that you push forwards to go forwards and pull it back to go backwards. You've got a throttle pedal and a brake pedal, and that's it. Now, this may not be the biggest, most luxurious car I've ever driven, but it has got oodles and oodles of charm. Even at these low city speeds, it's fun, it's engaging, it's a joy, it's really, really sweet. I'm not madly missing a petrol engine, but I could seriously do without that electric wine. And the only way to get around that is to put a petrol engine back in it. And if it's an original Mini with its original petrol engine you're after, then this completely remastered version by coach builders David Brown is the one for you. Everything else on the car is brand new, even the body shell, which is stiffer than ever. And all the seams and the gutterings have either been removed or rounded off so that this car is now as smooth as a bar of soap and all the better for it, in my opinion. David Brown Automotive is a custom coach builder and it shows. The attention to detail is fantastic. From the leather to the tweed, to the Alcantara roof, all the beautiful aluminium switch gear. These are things that you would normally see in a Pagani, let alone a Mini. Their aim was to, and I quote, embrace the DNA of a design classic and skillfully and respectfully remaster it to meet the demands of modern day life and I reckon they're not far off. So jolly well done, chaps and chapesses. The original engine has been re-engineered and pumps out 78 horsepower. That's 30% more than the original unit. It'll get you to 60 in 10.6 seconds. Not bad, but not as quick as the electric Swind E Classic. But it does sound better. As well as a fruity sound, it has got that bouncy suspension that all original minis had. But at least here, the bounce has been cushioned somewhat to give you a comfortable ride. The grip is pretty decent too, so you can really have some fun with this car. And this is a really fun car, albeit one with a £95,000 price tag. Because it's based on the original Mini, it doesn't have the architecture to support modern safety features. So, for example, when it comes to airbags, it is lacking. Buyers beware. 
These reimagined minis cost upward of £80,000, but they capture nostalgia brilliantly. If I had to choose, well, I am a petrol head, and therefore I would go with the one with the petrol engine.